Hello, how's everybody doing today? In our last tutorial, we learned how to add text labels to our screen. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add text labels to our ports using a Surface GUI. To get started, let's select Classic Baseplate. On this screen, we're going to add a port. You can resize your port. And make sure your part is anchored. And now I'm going to go to the parts property. I'm going to change the brick color to, let's make it black. And then I'm going to change the material. I'm going to make it brick. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to my part, click on the plus sign. We're going to need to add a surface GUI. So search for Surface GUI and add it. Surface GUI is very similar to your screen GUI from the previous tutorial. The only difference is the screen GUI covers the whole screen and the Surface GUI just cover one face of this part. So depending on which face you're selecting, that's the face it's gonna cover. Next thing, let's go to the Surface GUI and we're gonna add a text label. If you don't see your text label appearing on your part, it, it could be because it's facing the wrong direction somewhere. So just click on your surface GUI and go and check the face property. So right now it's facing front and I can see I'm facing the back here. So I'm gonna change this to the back. And immediately you see the text label appearing in the corner of your part. Now let's go to our text label and we're going to resize our text label. So we're going to look for the size property. Expand the size property. And again, you have the X and Y values. So I'm going to remove the offset. I'm going to make the offset zero and I'm going to change the scale. So I want my label to be half the, the width of the, the wall. So I'm going to make it 0.5. And there it is, it's half the width of the wall. And the next thing I want to do is, let me see if I can get closer to the wall. There we go. It's about half the width of the, the wall. And now I'm going to change the Y value to, I'm, again, I'm going to remove the offset, make it zero. And I'm going to change the scale. I'm going to make it 0.2. So it's going to take up one fifth of the, 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 the height of the, the wall. Next thing we want to do is we want to reposition this label to, to the center. So I'm going to change my, well, first let's look for position. And we want to change this position, the X position to 0.25. I'm not sure if you all can see it, but in this top left corner, there's a little box, a little clear box there. And that is your anchor point. So if I go to my text label and I look for the anchor point, anchor point right here. So right now it's at zero, zero, and that's why it's at the top left corner. If I change my anchor point, let's say if I change the X anchor point to 0.5, you can see that the box now is in the middle of the label as opposed to in the top left corner. So this is zero, zero. 0.5 puts it in the middle, and if I make it one, it would be on the, the right side corner. All right, so your label is positioning depending on the anchor point. So you can either set the anchor point, and then you have to go and set the uh, position, right? Readjust the position. So right now, if you want to center this label, you would have to change the position to, instead of point. 25 you would have to do it 0.5 and now since it's in, now it's in the center because the center the anchor point is in the center of the label so 0.5 puts it right in the middle but anyway so let's change it back to I'm gonna change this back to 0.25 and then we can change the anchor point back to zero 
So whichever method you like to use is up to you. And then we want to move the label down a little bit. So um, let me just close this anchor point and I'm going to go back to the position. I'm going to go to the Y value of the position and I'm going to change the scale to, um, let's make it 0.1. So it's moving down a tenth of the height of the, the wall. All right, next let's go to the text properties or maybe let, let, let's change the background first. So let me look for the background here. So we, we want to make this background disappear. So if you make it one, it's going to disappear. But uh, I don't want to make it one yet because I still want to see the, the label now. So I'm going to make it like 0.7 and I'll come back to it later. Now we're going to go to the text properties. We cannot see the text now because the text is so small. So here we are at the text property. I'm going to check the rich text box and I'm going to check the text scale box. Immediately you see the label or maybe not because it's, it's the same color as the wall. So let me change the color of the text to something else. For example, orange or yellow. Okay, so now you see the label. And if you want to leave the background like that, you can leave it like that, or you can just remove the background. So let's go back up to the background transparency. And now we can make it all the way up to one. Let's play and take a look. All right, so there's our label on our wall. Oh, maybe we should change the text. So let's go back to the text label and we're going to change the, the text instead of saying label um, you can say whatever you like like for example in one of my previous tutorial I, I made a top players wall so you can say top players I just want to show you another property of the text label um, of the surface GUI so right now, if I go and I make my environment really dark, say if I change the, the lighting, the time of the lighting, instead of uh, two in the afternoon, I make it zero for midnight and it's really dark. So um, like sometimes you cannot see the, 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 um, the text, right? So to, in order to see the text, what you want to do is you want to go to the surface GUI and there is a property called light influence. So light influence is if it's one, it's gonna be dark when the environment is dark. But if you wanna make it bright, you can change it to zero. And now you see your text is brighter. It's like neon. All right, let's play and take a look. And there it is, it's, uh, the text is very bright, even though it's very dark. Okay everyone, that's how you add text labels to your parts in Roblox. We'll see you again in the next tutorial. Take care.